to get Monday stoned and drunk. Uh, dude, this is one of the most classic pale ales in the entire game. This is Dale's Pale Ale from Oscar Blues Brewery in, uh, I used to know, I've been there, I hate that I don't know. Wisconsin. It's Longmont, Colorado. Oh. Um, I just guessed. <laughs> I was like Oshkosh, Bagosh, sounds like Wisconsin. Oscar Blues. Oshkosh, Bagosh, Wisconsin. Uh, Dale's, we've had this a lot, huh? This is one of my favorite, it's such a simple can. Yep. But it's just so good. That, that red, white, and blue, baby, don't you know I love it. Dale's was very intricate, uh, integral, that's the right word, integral, uh, of getting me into craft beer. Oh, is that right? Back in like 2010, I had it and I was like, this is, oh, I get it. <laughs> and not to mention, Dale, one of my absolute favorite Chicago comics. Yeah, and he's got a great podcast. Yeah, just look up. Real cute dude on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He's as cute as you're imagining. Yeah, isn't this podcast called like Dale Town? Dale City. Dale City. I knew it was some place. <laughs> I just say how good his podcast is and I don't know the name of it. It just pops up on my Facebook. Ooh, and today, Michelle Hammond. Michelle Hammond. Sent us one of the most epic boxes of goods. And we got a bunch of chips. We got a bunch of chips. We're gonna do a chip mukbang. I've seen these zaps all over the place. They're huge New Orleans centric. Uh, chip company, they got New Orleans branding on all their stuff, which I, my wife, that's her favorite city in the universe and one of my favorite places. Um, so we got their Voodoo, which I've seen all the time, always wanted to try. Their Evil Eye New Orleans Kettle Style. We've also got some uh, Hotter Jalapeno stuff. Hotter than Hot Jalapeno. And this then, is my favorite name. Spicy Cajun Craw Taters. Oh, that, that's amazing. I love that. And then uh, we also got some of the Grippos. I might be saying that right. Maybe it's Grippos, Grippos. I would, I would assume Grippos. Uh, I like to smoke weed in at least one out of every four Monday and one out of every four Friday videos. And I decided this munchy grab bag yeah. high time chip feast mm -hmm. seems like the most weed worthy thing we've done in a while. So time to uh, pack, load, smoke the bomb. Yeah, and you see, uh, the reason I won't be doing that is if I do that, I will fall asleep under Corey's desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick to just the pale ales today. <laughs> stick with what you know. Legal state, by the way. Yeah, and also, YouTube, on. this isn't even weed. It's uh, tobacco. CBD. Oh, yeah. A thousand milligrams per puff. Hmm? Hmm? Um, here's what I think we do. Okay. I think you start, um, you With pick one, and we go back and forth, and the per you, if it's your turn, you get to pick which chip we eat. Oh, bro, I'm instantly going to Voodoo. I've been seeing these on the shelves for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Always wanted to try them because the uh, chip bag is so eye-catching. It really is, dude. Uh, I mean, it's got all these little Voodoo dolls on here. I want to mm -hmm. poke one, see if it hurts my enemies, mm -hmm. and uh, try these chips. All right, my first try of the Voodoos. I can't remember if I've had these or not. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, they're way harder than I thought. Mmm. I like that. <laughs> the laziest food review I've ever done. <laughs> well, chips are weird. Mm, I like that. Mm. Move on. Mm. I got something that I wish there was less of. Is it vinegar? Yeah, I think that it's quite a bit of a vinegar taste. I think I'm not a big salt and vinegar guy, so I think there's a little vinegar in there that I'm not digging. What about sodium diacetate tea? <laughs> oh, that's my third favorite element. Is that on the periodic table? You're stupid. You know what you smell like? Torula yeast. I don't know. Most of these ingredients. Oh, I've got an infection. <laughs> Would you get it in the bayou? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> um, these are fantastic. Like, what? It's such a good balance of salty and sweet. Is there sweet in there? Is that what the vinegar is? Is vinegar? Vinegar's not sweet, is it? No, but there's got to be something sugary in here because I'm getting it. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are fantastic. Holy crap. Um, some of those ingredients, bro. Right? Turmeric. Paprika. Yeah. Those are all spices I love. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I don't really like those that much. You seem like somebody that might butt chug some peanut oil. Or a yeah. blend of peanut oil. <laughs> like how it's like one or the other. How else are you trying to get jacked, bro? The sure. more peanut uh, butter and peanut, I guess, good fats. elements uh -huh. that you get up in your body, the mm -hmm. more jacked you get. I learned that from all my beast mode friends. That can't be true. 
Um, I'm gonna go with Zapp's uh, Hotter and Hot Jalapeno Chips. Now that's not, I love jalapeno chips. This is actually my favorite bag of all of them. Yeah. I do love Voodoo, but I love the like the pinstripes. Or whatever, it's like candy stripe. Pinstripe, candy stripe with the, uh, that's got a name that someone Florida told me. Florida Leaf. The Florida Leaf, mm -hmm. which I love by the way, dope. <laughs> Can we go ahead and talk about the size of that chip you just grabbed? And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is how it was sitting. Like, like as if it wanted me to grab it. Look at this big beast. That's a, uh, and let's compare it to a normal beast. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good size one, too. Wow. Oh, cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's my new favorite. Mm hmm. This is in first place. I'm a huge jalapeno chip. That's what the chip I generally go to. All right, my favorites are jalapeno. Salt and pepper chips I love. Love those. Kettle oh my pepper. god, kettle cooked salt and pepper chips are money. And then if I had to pick a third, you know what I bet? I'm actually, like, childhood Sean is so mad at me. I love salt and vinegar right now. Oh, wow. And I used to hate salt and vinegar chips. Mm -hmm. And some, I woke up one day and was like, I like them now. I don't know what it is. What, what are your you? feeling on, feelings on Pringles? I think it's one of the most overrated chips in the game. Yes, dude! I was just saying how much I hate Pringles to my dumb life. <laughs> her face, dude. She's just glaring at us. Gosh darn, these jalapeno chips are good. Those are fantastic. I'm gonna smoke weed in honor of that. Yeah. Oh, those are good. No wonder people go nuts for zaps, dude. These chips, even the consistency, they're crunchier and saltier than other chips. Branding is fire. All right, your pick. You already know. I gotta go with it. Evil Eye. Yeah. I mean, such a cool name. An interesting little, like, I don't even know what the hell's on those things. Like, weird little faces. So. Evil Eyes. Kettle style. Whoa. Close your eyes. Did you see in there? No, I haven't. What do you mean? You're like this. You see in there? <laughs> Close your eyes. Open your hand. Oh. I like to do my body of Christ with my tongue. You can close, put your thumb on it now. There you go. Now eat it. No, don't close oh, your sorry. eyes. This is good. Whoa, that is so weird. And look what at that. Hell is look at that weird red stuff. Um, those are my third favorite so far. Those are my second favorite so far. You're kidding me. You like those? Remember, I hated those first ones. Oh, I thought you liked those. Well, I remember, I didn't like the uh, vinegary. Oh, oh, right. Uh, your your go. Huh? Okay, so it's not the one I would normally go with next because I think these are really intriguing. I just want to break up the monotony of this. I want to go with these cheese nibs. Ooh, going to Grippos. So these are Grippos barbecue cheese nibs. Um, which are Cheetos. Can I say something? Oh, I'll wait until the middle of us reviewing this so I can say this a horrible joke that may or may not get cut. <laughs> I usually am not a big cheese puffs guy. Oh, wow. That you see, that's weird to me because you look like you eat a lot of cheese puffs. <laughs> I do. Oh, that's weird that they. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, how do I not like that? That's good. Why did they feel the need to barbecue these? And then I ate it and I was like, oh, because they're great. That's really good. It tastes like a smoky charcoal grill. Did you see this weirdo? Oh, that little pervert. Uh huh. That dude. I got a big orange uh, uh, noodle for you. If that's not the bad guy in the new season of Dexter, I don't know who is. <laughs> I don't think these could ever replace cheese poofs, like Cheetos um, puffs, but. If you want, if for some reason you're just really into the smoky flavor of a charcoal barbecue, you'd love these. Are you ready for the uh, potentially offensive joke? Ready, lay it on me. <laughs> yeah, but it, most people don't realize this. Most Italians are vampires. I'm gonna win. Anyways, your pick. Oh yeah, I forgot we were doing this. We this only have video? we only have two more. Oh yeah. All right, we're down to barbecue flavored chips and spicy Cajun taters. I mean, obviously. Yeah, that's the right move. The Zap spicy Cajun craw taters. Yeah, sound good. Which reminds me of a Conan clip where he went to Chicago's uh, Irish Cultural Center, uh -huh. and uh, they just have bags of potato chips that are called like tater chips. <laughs> tato. Tato. Oh, it's tato. Tato. Tate. Tater chips. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Tatoes. Tatoes, yeah. Just in case you mistakenly pronounce it potato, they correct you. No, it's a tatoes. Tatoes. Oh, have tato. a tato. Alright. So these are spicy Cajun crawl taters. This better taste like a crawl, daddy. I love going to New Orleans and eating all the fried fish I can find. Cheers. Uh, cheers. That's pretty good. Yeah, the aftertaste is like. It's, it's really gonna sound gross. It's gonna, it's like fishy, mm -hmm. but it's in like the fried way. Yeah, like which is, I mean, it's barely fish. I used to live on the Gulf. I one time 
took a beer out mm. to a uh, uh, shirtless spear fisherman about 100 yards off the Gulf. <laughs> yeah, how'd that go? <laughs> In Gulfport? <laughs> yeah. Well, I almost stepped on a little stingray. He stabbed me with a spear. He goes, hands it up, watch right out right there. Kitty. Stabbed me with a spear, lifted up, and goes, wanna go throw this at one of them girls back down the beach with you? I go, I go, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, I go, I go, actually I go, yeah. I go to grab for it and he goes, he goes, now hold on now. And he, now they, you know those uh, stingrays, they got spikes on the back yeah, of their yeah. tail butts or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he goes like, he goes, get, 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 and just rips it off with his fingertips. He goes, they got a little hook back here. Get, get, get. And rips it right off and goes, there you go. And slips the thing off the spear and gives it to me. And I went back and threw it at a lady on the beach. <laughs> that was in New Orleans? No, that was in Gulfport, Mississippi. That should be the tourism video of you doing that for that city. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on down <laughs> to Gulfport. <laughs> yeah. Which, I, that's an accent I made up, by the way. I was going to say, that's it didn't not, sound accurate. I don't think that's <laughs> part of the region. That's not no. part of the region dialect. Um, I'll say this. These are not bad. But they are by far my least favorite so far. Um, I think I like those even less than the vinegar ones that I dislike. <laughs> so that's your least favorite? That's also my least favorite. Um, ending with a classic, barbecue flavored potato chips. Oh, with that little pervert. This is a little pervert. Um, and he's carrying a bag of his little pervert chips. You see that smaller bag in his hand? Yeah, he goes door to door. That's another version of him. Grab my chips! That's how you get in trouble, man. He tries to bait you into it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Just look deep into this bag. Oh, dude, I don't want. Um, okay, just off scent oh. and uh, sight, I'm not pumped for this. Yeah, dude. Me neither. It's a little too powdered. Oh man, I don't. I'm not pumped. And it really does smell like a dog treat. Here you go, Mr. Wilson. Eat my barbecue chips. <laughs> oh, here come the cops. <laughs> oh, they're soft. Not too for much me. for me. Not for me, dude. Oh, those are bad. Mm -hmm. Man, those do not taste good. Oh, man, is that uh, it weird. It started to taste like dog food at the end. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God for this Dale's. Dale's Pale Ale. <laughs> we'll wash the dog food out your mouth. Spicy, though. I like that. They're definitely spicy. Um, long story short, let us know if you guys have had Zaps and Grippo's chips, what your favorite is. If there's any that we missed today, these are all from Michelle. She's awesome for sending us all these. If you have chips that you want to send us, uh, the address is below. If you have, like, a full lineup of chips that you think are the best in the game. Overall though, this is really good. Like, as an overall video. So should we uh, pick our favorite? I think it, officially do it. Do a shout out first. Let's do it. Merch out of merch out of merch out of. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a ton of awesome merch. We've got our beer bottle openers, all of our, well shoot, he's wearing a shirt right now. We've got a ton of different shirts on there. we got koozies, we've of course got our Sixer sauce, our very own hot sauce. Uh, and anybody who buys our stuff gets a shout out. Anybody who buys more than one item jumps to the front of the line. And anybody who gets our hot sauce subscription where we mail a bottle every single month to your doorstep jumps to the front of both lines. Uh, and here's a couple of those shout outs right now. Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Jeff and Cole Paxton. <laughs> Jeff Paxton's a huge fan of the show. Cole is his son. So much so that he wrote it in the thing. Jeff and Cole, my son, Paxton. Oh, dude, that's dope. Tiffin, Ohio. Oh, no way, what's up? Yeah, that's not too far. That's the 567, dude. I have a friend who's in the Tiffin Hall of Fame. For what? Uh, track and field. Oh, I thought it was gonna be something way weirder. Like most Coney's eaten or something. <laughs> no. Um, no, by the way, whatever, I'm allowed to have my own thoughts. The university, uh, not just the city. Oh. <laughs> Jump cut shirt, a sure I'll have a drink shirt, and three Sixer sauces. Wow, that's, that's a monster awesome. order. Jeff and Cole, my son Paxson, thank you. Merch shout out number two goes to a huge fan of the channel, Mr. Jeffrey D'Agostino. What is up, dude? That's one of our old school, old school, top of the notch best fans. Uh, he bought a uh, Sixer sauce and a sticker sheet, and we mailed that to Alaska. Mm -hmm. Hope you're loving it, dude. It seems like on Discord you've been loving it out there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for supporting us. You're honestly one of our favorites. G -g 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 Gerwood? That's what people in Alaska do when you live in Gerwood. Yeah. So I've heard from me right now. That sounds like a venereal disease where your dick starts to grow bark on it. Yeah, dude, you see, oh, your dick's looking a little barky, dude. You got Gerwood? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and officially, because you know what's great is when we reference these videos later and we need a clip, it's perfect when we actually do this. Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, on the count of three, pick your favorite chip here today. One, two, three. Boom, we both want it. It's obviously the jalapeno one. Yeah, Did this you was watch nuts. the video? This was nuts. This is uh, just such a, Lay's should buy the recipe from Zaps on that. You know what the funny thing is too about this? I, I better think, laugh. 
Not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, like interesting. Okay, there it is. Preface it. Thank you. Preface it. Thank you. Uh, I think that there's obviously a lot of people who would love these. Like, I know that there's people out there who are slamming salt and vinegar chips or whatever the vinegar thing is. Uh huh. So I know people would like that first one. I know. I mean, this nonsense, that fish boy stuff, craw daddy. People <laughs> love that crap. They dude. do. They do. I mean, we wouldn't have fans mail us this if, if this wasn't, these weren't like huge fan favorites, so. I also like when you do a thing like this video though, you get to see like if all of these were so similar, like I like how polarizingly different they were. It makes for a video like this to like allow my palate to be like, whoa, we're going around the world, we're going around the town. We're, we're going, going around, around New Orleans. It's, it's a drunk parade and we're all here together. <laughs> hey, make sure you idiots like this goddamn video. I keep getting all kinds of high. This, is, this weed costs money. <laughs> This is free. You're not growing that? Like these videos so that we can get some sort of traction here. We've been trying for a handful of years. Mm -hmm. Help us out. I'm very sad inside if you yeah. can't tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my best bet. Here, here's all we'll really get a like. Ready? All right, close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Are you, you going to hit me? No, I promise nothing weird will happen. Are you I gonna... promise. I promise. Don't I, look at the jokes. God, I don't trust people Okay, just sh don't shut your eyes. Okay. All right, imagine it's like 15 years ago, right? Okay. You're like, you're in high school. You're like, there's a girl you really like, right? And she leans in, right? She's like, Corey, I think you're so cute. Yeah. And then she goes, I got some perfume for you. I knew you were going to do something weird. <laughs>